Today, we're back in my 1.18 hardcore world. And don't mind me, I'm just getting some farming done real fast. But oh my gosh, guys, I have an amazing plan for today's episode. We're gonna start the day out by going to the end and making an Enderman XP farm. Because currently, we have an XP farm under this well down here, but it's only for zombies and spiders, which aren't great for XP. But Enderman, oh my gosh, if you guys don't know, Endermen are crazy for XP. They are so good. Like, I'm pretty sure you can get level 30 in under a minute, which is like... Pew. So yeah, that's our first plan for the day. But before that, we have some business to take care of. Because in here, I have two netherite ingots, and I really wanted to get better tools to, you know, make them netherite. But the reason I held off on this so far is because my tools aren't great. Like, they're good, but they're not perfect. So, it's kind of ironic, but to start the day, we're gonna go to the old XP farm, get level 30, and try and get a perfect pickaxe to make netherite. Sounds easy enough? Let's get to work! Ooh, look at the mushroom farm go, baby! It's so simple, but so good. And here we are. Hello, XP farm, how you doing? Ah, uh, I'm gonna miss you. You've been so good to me, but today we're making a better one, so die. All right, 35 level sounds good to me. Okay, do I have any good books? I kind of forget. Okay, it appears I gotta enchant a new pickaxe. Grab a couple diamonds, make a new pick, and give me something worthwhile, pretty please. Efficiency four, perfect, that's actually perfect. And I can throw that onto my silk touch pick, do that, then put mending on that. Boom, boom, oh my gosh, well, Back to the XP farm. Ay ay ay. I'm back. I literally cannot wait for this Enderman farm. Shall we try this again? Boom, boom, boom. Okay, there we go. Hop back in my chest room and let's grab on netherite. And I go this and I go that. And here is our first netherite tool. And I still have one more piece here, which I'm gonna save because this pickaxe is not good enough yet, which I'm gonna do next. But maybe after the Enderman farm, we could do that. We can get XP much easier. It all makes sense. But it's a very good thing that I got this pickaxe because the first step to making the Enderman farm is getting a lot of blocks and I don't have very many So let's go fly over to a cave and go mining. I need wings on first forgot how to play Minecraft off We go here's my old reliable favorite cave in the game because it's so massive But I can land right over here and I can get to mining Ow! Excuse me. I said get to mining All right. We good you safe? Okay, get to mining. And as I do this, if you're enjoying the series, please subscribe and hit the bell. I'd really appreciate it. All right, I got a lot of blocks now. Also, side note, I went fishing to get a name tag because I need that for the farm too. And I got this amazing power four bow. So don't mind me making a super OP bow. Yes, sir. Power five, baby, let's go. But yeah, we're just about ready to go to the end now. I do need to get a few more things though. And I think I can use my shulker box as like a backpack. Well, maybe not. This is full. I think I have more though from the end busting trip? Uh, I do. And boom! And I kind of want to dye this one and call it my backpack. I want to make it teal, because teal's my channel color, and I just like the color teal. I think it's blue and green. Not entirely sure, but I guess we'll figure it out right now. Boom, 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 and that is a cyan shulker box, aka Farzee's backpack. There we go. Throw my blocks in, slabs, trap doors, and a little bit of glass. Now, I just gotta toss on my pumpkin head for the Enderman to not attack me, but we're ready to go. So, see ya, Charlton. Have a good day. Off to the end. I cannot tell you how much I love flying over the ocean. I hate boats. I think we're here. It's kind of hard to tell when you're in the air. This the big cave? Maybe, possibly. Aha! I forgot some bookshelves last time. You kidding me? And as I go locate the end portal, I do want to remind you guys, I used to be a tutorial channel, so if you want to make this Enderman farm for yourself, I'll put a link to my old tutorial down below. Aha! I knew you were here. In we go! Well, hello, Enderman. Nice to see you for the third straight episode. But anyways, we have to make this farm. So, to do that, I have to go build into the void. Now, honestly, I'm terrified about this because if I fall off, the world is over. I cannot respawn when I go in there. I am spamming shift so hard right now. My finger is turning red. All right, I think I'm far out enough. So now it's time to take out my big boy building blocks and do a risky little jump place. Uh, jump place. Jump place, come on, jump, there we go. And I'm gonna make a small little platform to stand on. So basically how it works is that Endermen cannot spawn on these slabs over here. They won't be able to spawn on this thing when I'm done making it. And the only spawnable area here will be a big platform in the sky where they'll drop down here and get one hit by me. I don't know if that makes sense, but just wait and it'll make sense in a second. And I'm gonna have them fall on these six blocks right here. So now I take out my glass and I start building up on all these sides with said glass. In hindsight, I didn't need to use glass. This was probably a waste, but who cares? Well, 
I am dumb and didn't bring enough glass blocks because again, I am dumb. So BRB, that was my bad. So funny story, I went to go mine the sand and I realized I had no coal to smelt it. So I had to go mining really fast. Well, that was a struggle, but we're done. And next up, I gotta go actually kill some endermen to get ender pearls. Because for the next part of the farm, I need an ender mite, which you only get by throwing the pearls. Also, let's be smart about this. Let's make a little place to be safe in. And this should be good. Okay, let's get rolling. Armor on, enderman stare, and start attacking. Oh, there's so many of them. Time to get some pearls. I will take all of these, thank you very much. And back we go. So here comes the endermite part. I'm gonna build up a couple of blocks here. Go one inward, then put some rails here. Now the idea is to get an endermite inside of a minecart on these rails. And if you guys are wondering why, it's because endermites always attract endermen. So if there's one here, endermen are gonna chase him and try and murder his face, and they'll fall into this hole and die. So yeah, endermite, I need you to spawn right now. I said right now. I said right now. I might need armor for this. Please, any day now. Oh, we got one. Hey, don't kill me. Don't kill me. No, get, 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 get in the minecart. Don't kill me. <laughs> that was scary for a second. All right, can you take the name tag? Oh, you can't. Let me just take my thorns off and quickly try this again. All right, get out. Take the name tag. Get back in. And now here comes the fun part. And that is sarcasm because I have to place literally like a thousand stone blocks just going in this big blob. Just got to do a little spawn proofing here on these corners and we're good. Okay, it's building time. I'll be right back. Well, the farm seems to be working, but I've uncovered something not great. Down at the bottom, the endermen are just dying, which they shouldn't do. They're supposed to like survive a little bit. Let's see if I can crack the case here. Yep, they're all just dying. But hypothetically, what if I raise this up by one block? I think that fixed it. Oh yeah, that fixed it. And now you guys can see just how OP these farms are, ready? Look at my levels go crazy right now. Like, this is a cheat code. There's just so much XP. This is so addicting, I cannot stop, I have to go. And as promised, I can now get my other pickaxe to be an amazing pick, because I have XP now. I just gotta dispose of all these ender pearls that I don't care about. And we're gonna make another new pickaxe, and I need to get fortune three on this thing. Efficiency four, eh, that's a good pick, but not not what I want. So I'll go to my grind zone and unenchant that real fast. Boom. Ah, come on, efficiency four. Ah, ah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! And now I go boom, I go boom, I can do this and I can put mending on it now, right? Yes, the perfect amount! Now we have the perfect silk touch pick and the perfect fortune pick. Life is good on the Farzy world, hardcore world thing. I will take this thingy right there, smithing table, boom, boom, and that's our second netherite tool. Oh, we're progressing so much in this world. Life is good, right? Llama in my farm, why are you here? Who are you? You're invisible, what do you got for me? Nothing good. You trampled my carrots. Oh, you despawned. I hate when that happens. It happens all the time. Well, next up, we have some TNT matters to attend to. Last episode, I said if the video got 1,500 likes, I would explode 200 pieces of TNT. And I'll be honest, I did not think you guys would get that many likes, but you did. So thank you so much for all the support. But that being said, we gotta go get some TNT. So off camera, I did some AFKing in my creeper farm, and I think I'll have a good amount. I guess we'll see right now. Well, that should be good. Actually, I don't know. Let's figure it out. I'm terrible at math. What the heck is this? I was going to get sand, I just see this. Is there like a ship under here? Oh, it could be a ship, wait. Or maybe not, what the heck? Oh my god, wait, it is. Underground ship alert, that's really cool. Where's the loot? Can I go in here? Oh, it's all dirt. What is, oh, what do we got? Thank you for the leather armor. Are there more chests in here? There's usually two, right? I know it's in here, show yourself. Ah ha, what do we got for me? Ooh treasure map. Hold on, slight diversion. Treasure map. I want to go find treasure. That sounds awesome. Also, this could make a really cool underground base in the future, like an underground pirate ship base. That's so cool. All right, where am I going? Uh, I don't know where I am. Oh, phantoms. Forgot to sleep. Oh, we're on the map. So it should be right around here. Oh, wait, it's literally exposed. What the heck? Why is my world so lucky? This is insane. Uh, where's the loot? Oh, would you knock it off? Wait, but why does this chest have nothing in it? This is really weird. Have I been in this before? If someone recalls me looking in this chest before, please comment down below, because I'm confused. Well, back to getting sand. Ooh, that guy has a trident for me. Thank you. All right, is that 200? I'm so dumb, I'm literally using a calculator right now to figure this out. 202 pieces, okay, that sounds good to me. And just like last episode, I'm gonna do this in the nether, because why would I waste an opportunity to get free ancient debris? All right, we're here. Oh, I see you, don't do this. We're not doing this today. 
Why do these Endermen love placing blocks everywhere? Like, what's the point? Just, like, get a job or something. Pop down here. Let's break some blocks. Oh, hello. Well, that's a good sign of things to come, hopefully. Oh my god! I'm just perpetually lucky every time I play. I change it back. I change my mind. <laughs> I take it all back. <laughs> and let's get to placing. And then we had a horrible, horrible accident. What is going on? Oh no! I think the lava lit it by accident. Well, that was not supposed to happen. I was just mindlessly placing TNT and I just started hearing boom, 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 boom. But oh my gosh, I see ancient debris everywhere. But I will take you, I will take you three. And of course I can't forget you. Well, I guess I gotta keep going then. I still have a lot more TNT left. So on we go. And this time, no more horrible, horrible accidents, I promise. And that is it. I have many rows of TNT. So let's get to lighten this thing. Let's go over here at the end. Yeah, at the end. Light it and run away. Thank you for all the likes. I really appreciate it. So much lava. I can't see anything. It's a natural divide. How do I even get around all this right now? Did I just blow up a lava lake? Oh, I think I found the other side. I see some. Well, the lava kind of ruined this whole thing, but I mean, I got one more piece, so I'm not going to complain. Yummy, yummy, yum. Thank you. Well, that was 200 pieces of TNT, so I hope you enjoyed. Now, let's try to up our game. If this video gets 1,600 likes, I will blow up 300 pieces of TNT. I'm going to need a lot of gunpowder, aren't I? All right, back home we go. Well, now that we're back home, I want to do some building today. And I just got a really good idea, and it involves my food situation. Right now, I don't have, like, any food. I'm totally starving. And no, I'm not kidding. I literally have nothing to eat. Maybe apples? Sure. So that got me thinking. What if we build something that kind of involves food? And I have the perfect idea. We're gonna build a chicken coop in this farm area. And inside the chicken coop, we're gonna have an automatic chicken farm. So it's gonna look nice and actually be efficient. I'm actually so excited for this. Let's go. But first off, I gotta put my ancient debris in the furnace because I can. You can take that right there. Thank you very much. And now time to get some wood. Do we have any wood? I feel like I do. Where's wood? In here? Eh. I probably have enough, but the big thing I need is more fences. Because I want my chickens to have a free range to, you know, roam about and just be free. And I think I'll build it, like, right over here, maybe? Grab some fences up, and let's get to work on this thing. Alright, I think this is big enough. So now it's time to build the actual chicken coop house itself. So basically, inside of this fence, we're gonna have a little bit of like a skinny tower and the chickens can walk up it and lay their eggs and hang out. So maybe I'll make it over here. Do a little space and do this. Looks good to me. And now we commence the building. So for this build, I had two things in mind, small and detailed. And since the house is being built for chickens, I had to scale the whole thing down. So it was kind of a fun challenge for me. And here's a small update on the place. What do you think? I love it. It's small, it's cute, and it's detailed. And of course, there's plenty of room for the chickens to roam around here within these fences. But now it's time to go make the actual coops inside of this little house. So I'm hoping I can just use some trap doors and do something kind of like this and make some small cages. Maybe I do something like that, that, and then put a row on the top. Oh, that actually looks so awesome. The chickens can all go in their own little coop and hang out and chill. Just gonna change one little thing here. And boom, I love it. So now it's time to actually go get some chicken friends to put inside of here. So I think I might have some eggs. I'm not actually sure. Oh, what are you, what are you doing here? What, why are you here? Are you bothering my villagers? You guys are the worst. All right, let's see. Do I have the eggs? Where would eggs be? Animal loot. I have one egg. But if I grab some seeds, I can go find some wild chickens and lure them into my place. We're going chicken hunting. Where are they at? <gasps> Feathery friend. Hello there. Oh, an egg you laid for me. Thank you. Do you want to go on a vacation? I got seeds. Follow me, good sir. Now jump in here. Jump, jump, aw. It's okay, I'll break it open for you. Get in here. Yes, this is your new home, enjoy it. Gotta get another one, you stay put. Here, have a seed. Wait a second, I have chickens in here, don't I? Oh, I have one. Fine, you can stay in the barn. Do my eyes deceive me? Oh, it's a flower. <gasps> Hello there, you're getting taken. Right in here, my lady, and I'll give you two some privacy. Baby chicken. Well, this is awesome. We got chickens in here now, they'll lay eggs, we can breed them and get more and more and more, but now it's time to decorate. Cause so far the building looks nice, but the rest of it's a little bit bland. So time to activate Builder Farzy mode. I'ma need some blocks. I want some hay, I want some coarse dirt, some naturey blocks, and a cauldron. This is by far my favorite way to build in Minecraft. Just making like messy nature builds. I 
love it, I thrive off of it, and I had so much fun building this thing. And what do we think about this? I tried to make it as busy and as just like natural looking as possible. I got my coarse dirt, I got some mud, aka path blocks, got their water, I got their food, or poop, up to your imagination there. And again, I just tried to add as many small things as I could to make it look busy and not too like, you know, too lame and empty. And I love it, I think it came out really good. And in the process, I got two more eggs. Give me a child, give me a child, a child! Hello child, don't get wet. I want them to go in the coop. Come in the coop, come in the coop, it looks so cool. Come on, get in the coop. Get in the coop. Nope, you're all dumb. It's no use. They can't get up here. Make a new baby. Now, I also should note, I don't want to breed these guys too many times because I want most of the chickens to be in the underground, you know, auto chicken farm. Because if I have a billion chickens up here, then a billion chickens down below, it'll just be way too laggy. So let's keep them mostly down below. But these five are fine. I found more chickens in the wild. But also, I just had a totally random thought. I actually got to fix something on my iron farm right now. Someone in the comments told me to fix my iron farm storage. Because right now, I only have one chest that's basically already filled up right now. It is filled up right now, actually. But what I could do is make some hoppers, make some more chests, and I go like this, like this, and make a little funneling system for all the iron. And boom, so much better. Whee! Speaking of which, how's my ancient debris doing? Are we all cooked up? Of course you're all cooked up. You know what's so funny? I have almost the same amount of netherite as I do gold. I gotta go mining so badly. But ladies, gentlemen, now it's time to make the the ultimate chicken farm for infinite food. I think I'll put it under this trap door right here. Let's dig a little hole for ourselves to work with. Make a little ladder system to get back up. I hear cats so loudly. I bet I'm right next to the creeper farm. Oh yeah, it's like right in front of me. Well, I think we're good to go. Let's go get our materials. Oh, hello there. Why are you guys everywhere? Boop, you just got your snoot booped. Don't harm the chickens, you monsters. All right, anyways, let's get to building. And once again, I have an old tutorial for making a farm like this. So if you wanna make it yourself, I'll link it down below. And we're done. And it's absolutely perfect timing because I only have two apples left. So I am legit starving here. But the great part is this farm is totally automatic. I don't gotta do anything. I can just leave this thing and I'll get chicken in that chest over time. So that is amazing. Not gonna lie though, this area is so loud. All I've been hearing is balking and clucking and balking. But all in all, I love the build. I think it came out so good. It fits in nicely with the area. And of course, it's very useful for me. Speaking of which, I kind of want to expand the wheat field a little bit to, you know, encapsulate the chicken coop. Because I bet that'd look pretty cool. And as I do that, look at this funny meme I found on the internet. And there we go. The back end's looking awful crappy. Is that a word? It is now. Crappie. And I've said this many times already, but I really want to expand the crop range like much further. Maybe like all the way down the mountainside and all over the place. I got much work to do on this thing. Now I am absolutely starving. Do we have any food ready? Please. Does the farm work? Oh, well it works. It just needs more time. Glow berries again. My favorite. I need chicken so badly. But that being said, I'm going to end things here for today. So make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff. And I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye. Bye.